Hi friends, today we have to learn how to draw human ear in easy way, step by step. And lastly, I am talking about how it's work. So let's start it. In the first step, drawing structure of pinna. So drawing pinna like this. Inside the pinna drawing small curve line. Then drawing a shape structure like this. So we have completed the structure of pinna. Now drawing the auditory canal. This is the structure of auditory canal. End of the auditory canal drawing circular structure like this which is called air drum. Now drawing second most important part of air. It consists of three bones. This is the first bone called hammer and this is the second bone known as anvil. Names of these bones on the basis of its particular shapes. This is third bone which is called stirrup because of its stirrup shape. Now here I am drawing snail like structure you can see here this is called cochlea then drawing three semicircular canal so this is the first semicircular canal inside this semicircular canal drawing one curve line like this and join up to here then drawing two small lines and this line join up to here this is the first semicircular canal This is the second most semicircular canal and this is form third semicircular canal. Now drawing one line from eardrum up to the hair. Drawing second line from cochlea and joined like this. This tube like structure called ista chain tube. And lastly drawing auditory nerve like this human ear is a sense organ which helps to hearing and maintaining body balance which consisted of three parts outer ear middle ear and inner ear outer ear contain pinna auditory canal and eardrum also called tympanic membrane middle ear contain three movable tiny bones which is hammer and will stir up. They collectively form ossicles. Tympanic membrane that separate outer ear from middle ear. Inner ear contains snail like spiral organ which is called cochlea, three semicircular canal, ista chain tube and auditory nerve. We have starting from the pinna which is also called auricle. Pinna is the only visible part of the ear with its special helical shape. It is the first part of the ear that contact and react with sound. Function of the pinna is to collect sound waves. Once the sound waves pass to the pinna, they have moved to auditory canal. Function of the auditory canal to transmit sound waves from pinna to the eardrum. Eardrum is also called as tympanic membrane that separates the external ear from middle ear. Eardrum vibration caused by sound waves moved to chain of tiny bones collectively form ossicles. In the middle ear consisting of three tiny bones called hammer and will stir up. They transferring the sound vibration into the cochlea of the inner ear. Cochlea is the spiral organ which is the receptor organ of hearing. It consisting of tiny hair cells that translate the fluid vibration sound from its surrounding duct into electrical impulses that are carried to the brain by sensory or auditory nerve. Semicircular canal actually the system of three ring like structure one superior canal running vertically one lateral canal running horizontally and one posterior canal running downward angle each of these three canal join at the structure called vestibule and they form vestibule system vestibule system is a sensory system that is responsible for providing information about motion, head position and spatial orientation. It also is involved with motor functions that allow you to keep over balance that is stabilize over head and body during movement. I hope you enjoy this video. Please like, comment, share and subscribe.